In this video series, we focus on the musculoskeletal system starting with amputation of the lower extremity. The diagnosis we will focus on is acute and chronic pain. Here we will learn how to write a care plan. Before we start, check the description below for your free care plan worksheet. This will be useful for writing down rationales provided in this video. Now let's continue with the video. The purpose of a care plan is to document the patient's needs and wants, as well as the nursing interventions, or implementations, planned to meet these needs. As part of the patient's health record, the care plan is used to establish continuity of care. What are the reasons a patient may have acute and chronic pain? The reasons include the following. Physical injury agents such as amputation, prosthesis fit. Damage to nervous systems such as phantom sensation, phantom pain. How can you, the nurse, tell when a patient is experiencing acute and chronic pain? They may do the following. Self-report of intensity using standardized pain scale. Self-report of pain characteristics using standardized pain instrument. The patient may display restlessness. Withdrawal, irritability. Altered ability to continue previous activities. What is our goal for the patient? The following are the goals. Patient reports satisfactory pain control at a decreased intensity using a standardized pain scale. Patient uses pharmacological and non-pharmacological pain management strategies. Patient engages in desired activities without an increase in pain intensity. Ongoing assessments. The ongoing assessments for acute and chronic pain are Assess the patient's description of pain. Have the patient rate the pain on a standardized pain scale. A thorough assessment of pain characteristics will assist the nurse in differentiating phantom limb sensations from incision pain. The nurse needs to understand the type of pain the patient is experiencing to select the appropriate pain management interventions. Pain is what the patient states it is. Early detection and intervention promote patient comfort. Assess for nonverbal signs of pain. Tense posture, tightening fists, diaphoresis, and increased HR may be the only indications of acute pain. Assess the patient's understanding of the occurrence and management of phantom limb sensations. Phantom limb sensations are the painless awareness of the presence of the amputated part and are often experienced as a tingling sensation caused by nerve stimulation proximal to the level of amputation but perceived as coming from the amputated limb. In a lower limb amputation, sensations in the foot will be experienced more strongly than the leg and the great toe more strongly than the other toes. Assess the patient's understanding of phantom pain. When phantom limb sensations become disagreeable and painful, they are called phantom pain. Phantom limb pain may be continuous or occasional, with a wide range in the intensity experienced by the patient. Patients may experience the pain as a cramping or squeezing sensation, a burning sensation, or a sharp, shooting pain. Phantom limb pain tends to disappear over time, but phantom limb sensation may remain indefinitely. Therapeutic Interventions Now let's go over therapeutic actions of the nurse. Provide medications as prescribed for surgical pain relief. Evaluate their effectiveness and modify doses as needed. This is very important to note. Patients have a right to adequate pain relief. Bone surgery is extremely painful. Phantom limb pain is real pain and the patient requires appropriate analgesics as part of a total pain management program. Use additional comfort measures as appropriate to relieve phantom sensations. Long-term management of phantom limb sensations includes the use of non-pharmacological measures such as diversional activities, relaxation techniques, position changes, exercise, range of motion of the residual limb, application of pressure to the residual limb, and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Current research indicates that these measures are effective. That's it for this video. Check the description below for your free care plan worksheet. This will help you retain information for passing exams.